I wanted to leave this in because it's pretty funny. I was watching the Spurs vs. Warriors game. I was about to start the video and then I'm like, nah, let's just keep watching. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the video. Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Your boy got a new haircut, by the way. A new fresh cut. Look beautiful right now. But uh, no. Um, yeah, we're back. We are about to hop into one of the most anticipated videos of this year on my channel. It's always good. It's always fun watching a free agency episode, especially in my GM, man. And the awesome thing about this is the roster looks really nice already. And after the trades that we made, we are able to, uh, to get hopefully some decent, decent plays in free agency as well. And uh, let's look at the team player options. I'm going to accept, ex accept Glenn Robinson the third because he is an Indiana Pacer guy and he's actually not that bad. I just never play with him because I have players at his position, but he's decent and I can develop him um, throughout this, you know, the next couple of years. So I'll keep him around. Um, but Tony Snell, he, he plays the same position and he's just, eh, I don't really need him to be honest. Like, don't really need him. I mean, don't need another small forward, already got my small forwards, but he is, you know, got that 91 shot three, which is pretty crazy, um, but if I ever need to get a three-point shooter, I have three-point shooters, and I can always, you know, pick him up in free agency, I don't, I doubt a team's going to pick up Tony Snell, but I guess we'll have to see what happens, um, but yeah, let's do this, let's see who declined, LeBron accepted his player option, that is something different, because, you know, LeBron normally doesn't accept his player option, in 2k so I guess he can't he won't be in um yeah man he won't be in free agency which is uh 24 million in 2016 that's pretty crazy but that means he, he might be going in the uh in the 2017 free agency if he doesn't sign a contract so like a contract extension that's pretty crazy DeRozan declined awesome TBD declined because Sol declined Dwight Howard declined. Unfortunately, all the young guys like Wiggins and Giannis and McCallum and Gobert, all, they all accepted, which I would like to have him um, on this team. But uh, let's have a look. What about, um, what about, where is he? Don't tell me. Can we sort by, where is Hassan Whiteside? Where is Hassan Whiteside? Hold up, wait a minute. Okay, he's not there, but he's not. Where is Hassan Whiteside? Did I pass him? I don't know where Hassan Whiteside is. It's all good though. We are going to advance this because uh, I, I want to get into. I want to get into free agency. Okay, qualifying offers. We got none. Here it is. <sighs> Moment of truth. Let's do this. Let's get this. All right. First of all, I will. I will, I will, I will make some, I will make some, uh, my boy Cunningham is testing free agency. Unfortunately, he's not a high overall, but this boy is a beast. 81 shot three and a crazy 85 dunk. I might have to sign him back in free agency if no, if no team picks him up, which I doubt they will. But let me get, is it worth getting Jordan Hill? Because when you think about it, we've got Miles Turner. And then I kind of want to get a center in free agency. I'm going to walk away just because I want to get a good center in free agency. And I don't want him to like, we can always get Jordan Hill is what I'm trying to say. Like we can always get him. But what if we get him and then I want to get like Hassan White sort of Dwight Howard and I don't have enough money if you know what I mean. So. Ah, it's annoying because he is an Indiana Pacer guy, so I kind of want to keep him, but I'll, I'll definitely uh, re-sign Danny Granger. He's going to go down in overall, but he's an Indiana Pacer guy um, that, you know, we brought back um, after a number of years not playing with Indiana, and he doesn't want much. I want to see if we can get him for the low, 990k. Let's see what he says. Okay, he'll think about it. Let's do this. Danny Granger excess, 990k, okay, I'll, I'll take Danny Granger, alright. DeRozan's there, Hassan Whiteside's there, Dwight Howard's there, pretty good, I'll take it. Um, 
I reckon I'm gonna I'm gonna offer all of them a contract just in case. Because like I don't wanna lose I don't wanna miss out on like Hassan and Dwight. I wanna get one of them at least. But then I also wanna get DeRozan, because he's DeRozan and I like DeRozan. And Miles can play the backup shooting guard because we don't have I mean we have KJ McDaniels, but I mean I'd rather have we need a shooting guard is what I'm trying to say. I mean I a 79 overall is not a great starting shooting guard position. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. Especially, I don't know, man. I, I think I would like to get a higher starting shooting guard overall, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so hopefully, we can make this a successful offseason by getting a starting shooting guard in Damar, who, you know, doesn't have the greatest offensive game. But we do have players that do have an offensive game. So, like, I mean, a, an offensive game is in, you know, mid-range and three, which the mid-range should be higher. It's DeMar DeRozan. He's a great, pretty good mid-range shooter. And then, obviously, the three, it shouldn't be that high. Uh, but, yeah, definitely mid-range. That should be a little bit higher. But, um, you know, he can attack the ring, which is it's good. But um, I'll, I'll probably offer the most to our center position because that's where we need to get it most. So, let's offer Hassan a contract. Let's view the offers real quick. Sun's offered him four year fifty six, and he's only he only has a seventy two interest. So, um, I guess we'll offer him a contract. See what he says. I hope it's not too much. Um, begin negotiation. Three year forty eight. Three year forty eight. All right. So I'm gonna offer him three year forty nine. I guess I'll see what he says to that. I hope it's a Mm, I'll offer him one mil more than he wants. That's all good. Forty-nine million. Uh, yeah, I think that should be all right. I mean, if we can get Hassan Whiteside, that'd be awesome. But if not, I'll go after Dwight Howard. Um, View offers. Wow. He he's been offered a lot. He the Lakers offered him a new contract. That's crazy. Um, but yeah. I'll see what he's... He wants a lot more than... Uh, I know he's going to ask for a lot more than Hassan Whiteside. Because um, if you look at the... Oh, actually, what? Okay, never mind. Um, three years, $69 million. I see you, Dwight Howard. I see you, Dwight Howard. I offer you three years, 70. I mean, that's kind of... That's a lot, but... Uh, I don't want to be struggling... You know what I'm saying? I want to get I want to get someone good like Dwight if we don't get Hassan Whiteside. And then DeRozan, I'll offer him... Oh, I want to... Damn, I want to have a look at... I'll just look at his contract. Who You know, who's offered him a contract in a minute. But, I mean, DeMar DeRozan. i got to try and get DeMar as well. All right, four years... 81 mil for four years? God damn, that's a lot of money. Actually, is it that much? Not really. That's about... That's a bit less than what Dwight Howard wanted, actually, so... I guess it's just because it's a $4 million contract. It seems like a lot more. I'll offer you 83. 83 mil for DeMar Rosen. Now, I don't know if we can... I don't know if we'll be able to accept Hassan and DeMar. So if it... I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But if um if it comes up with an, op with an option to accept DeMar and Hassan, and we can't... We can only uh, accept one... I, Although DeMar's a higher overall, we need a big man. We, we need a big man. Because when we look at our roster, we have Paul George, Eric Bledsoe, CJ Miles, George Hill. And then, you know, our best big man is Miles Turner. Who could be a starting... He could be a starting power forward in this. So I can, I can um, you know, lower... I can not lower, but I can change his position to a power forward. Which I've heard if you do, his overall goes up. So, I guess I'll have to ask you guys. And the thing is, not only will I do that, but he has a pretty good mid-range, a decent close, and he can shoot the three. So, you know, he can stretch the floor. When you think about it, he's not a great offensive player, but he can stretch the floor. And just in case, I'm going to... I mean, I'll offer Jordan Hill a contract because um, Indiana Pacer guy. And, uh, you know, you, you always... Get, I'll, I'll offer him less than he wants, though. I'll offer him... 18 million because I've offered all those other guys um, more than they wanted so let me give Jordan less than he wants 
and he'll bring it into consideration. I'm gonna just see what they say. I'll see what they say and see who accepts and who doesn't. Let's advance day one. So we can accept any one of these guys, which is awesome, man. This is That's awesome. So we can't accept... Ah, uh, that's annoying, man. That's annoying. So we don't have, we don't have enough money to sign... Mmm, this is so frustrating, man. We don't have enough money to sign... Um, all of these guys. We can only we can only sign one. Now, if we sign Damar, we will have 11 million in cap space. If we sign Hassan, we'll have 15 million in cap space. And then pending is Jordan Hill. <sighs> See, I can either get Demar Derozan, who is a better player, probably than Hassan Whiteside. Hassan's got a great inside presence. A 75 mi- You know what? Time, time to check on my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read from pretty much the top of this and go down from there. So the top said Zach Levine, which doesn't make any sense. The next comment was get a better center. Then the next comment was get a shooting guard. Then the next comment was get Al Horford, Demar DeRozan, Hassan Whiteside, Jarman, and Ronda. So it's Demar and Hassan in that comment. The next center was get a shooting guard in the center. Then the next center was the next center. The next comment was get a small guard or a center. So it's look at this man. It's either shooting guard or center. Like it like every comment is just there's never a center or a shooting guard, it's just both. Like King Prince, this guy, he has the right idea. Unfortunately, I can't sign both of them. Alright, I've I figured it out, people. I figured it out. So I wanna I wanna apologize for all the people that really wanted me to go after a center. Alright? I wanted to go after a center too, and that's why I offered all these guys contracts. The problem for me is I've played with Hassan Whiteside in my last my gem series. So I, I kind of wanna have a little bit of a break with Hassan Whiteside. And I've never played with DeMar DeRozan in a MyGM series. Now, I know we're a bit guard heavy with Eric Bledsoe, DeMar, and Paul George. But I also want to develop Miles Turner into a starting center. Because he is an Indiana Pacer guy. And then Dwight Howard, I mean, I like Dwight, but... I want to go after a shooting guard as well, so... Plus, DeMar is the youngest out of all of them. DeMar is the youngest out of all of them. Yeah, I'm taking the Mata Rosen. Highest overall. I, I I completed a go a go a go a goal. I've actually what if we can offer Hassan a new contract? View offers four year sixty two million. He's gonna accept with the with the Spurs probably, but um I can't offer any more unless I gave him a no trade clause, which I actually can't. Player option, what do you say? Mind trick pitch? I earned this pitch. I earned this pitch, guys. I earned this pitch. Another one. I earned this pitch. So it's not like... This isn't like I'm cheating. Because I earned this pitch during the season. I didn't spend any VC. You guys know I don't spend any VC. I have to take it. I have to take it. He wants $44 million. I'm offering $36 million with a mind trick pitch. Let's advance, I guess. Do I advance? I hope I advance. I hope I can get it some white side. I mean, if I... Am I the king of my GM, people? Am I the king of my GM? Comment down below and let me know if I'm the king of my GM. Alright? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I probably am not the king of my GM. But I'm just saying... That is why, during this season, I got that pitch. Woo! Let's go, man. We got some lights on this team. Look at this team now. It's over. This, you know, you've heard about the big three. You've heard about the big four. This right here is 
Uh, it's a big five. It's a big five. Paul George, Damar, Hassan, Bledsoe, and I'll throw in Mars Turner. <laughs> nah, but it's a big four. That's crazy. That is insane. Thank you very much. I'm happy with this team. Jermaine O'Neal, bring him back to India. Yo, we bring Jermaine O'Neal back to India. Let's just do it. Let's just bring Jermaine O'Neal back to Indiana. All right, he's not going to get minutes. We don't need him to play minutes. But let's do it. Let's see if he takes the same offer as Danny Granger. You're not going to get any other offers, man. Come on, man. You're not going to get any other offers. You you take this offer if you get offered this contract. You take this. If you don't take this, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna accept. So we're gonna we're gonna get some throwback Indiana. Get we get uh. Yeah, Jermaine O'Neal back in Indiana. Um, this this offseason has been a success. Can we... We can offer Jordan Hill a contract? Bruh. I have to do it, right? I have to do it. Does he want to play backup, though? Why not? Why not? Oh, Jordan Hill. You make me angry. I'll get Jermaine O'Neal, though. I can I can end free agency right now. I don't need a I don't need a let's go to play progression real quick cuz I we, we set. We are set. Free agency, we owned this free agency, all right? All we need to do now is build team chemistry. Paul George went down in overall. Come on now. Let's see who went down in the 3. Uh standing 3, did anyone? No. He went up. I thought this man CJ Miles was going to go down in the 3 point shot. He went up. Yo. Yo. Yo, just... All right, Eric Bledsoe went down three. Bruh. How are you going to go down three like that? Miles Turner went up three, though. I'll take that. Man, this team is so good right now. It's going to be insane to play with this team. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Bro, Jermaine O'Neal is like 50 years old. I'm not sending him to a, to a camp. I'm not wasting one of our, you know, one of our few training camps on a guy that's so old. That's pointless, okay? It's pointless. But, if this would load, that'd be awesome. Training camps right here. We got how many? Six. Sweet. Um, perimeter shooting, giving that to DeRozan. I want him to increase his shooting. He goes up to a 70 mid-range, 71-3. I'll give untapped potential to Shek Diallo, who goes to a B plus. Yeah, rebounding to Miles Turner. What do I give Paul George? What do I give Paul George? He's literally an all-around beast. He can not, he can work on his speed and stuff. All right, we're gonna give Paul George athleticism, cause vertical acceleration, speed, and standing dunk. We will we'll give that to uh to PG rebounding, um, Hassan Whiteside. He gets a 76 offensive rebound and 95 box out. We'll send all our team to the free throw camp as well. Everyone can everyone can improve on free throws, and I'm not going to spend any VC because you guys know I don't spend VC in this my GM series, and I've never spent VC in a my GM series. And I want you guys to comment down below: Do the pump up play pitches work this year? I know on Xbox they do, but I don't think on PS4 they do. So I might have to hit 2K up about that. But I'm hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, actually, no, we're not done. Win the division, I will. We'll accomplish that. Uh, finish first in the conference, I will accomplish that. Uh, I don't want a general manager that makes and then breaks promises. I will try not to, but 2K is weird like that. You just automatically break promises sometime. Team Morale will accomplish that. Um, you want to, you despise the New York Knicks. I will accomplish winning the series against them. Let's get started. Well, this, we're up against the Pistons in the first game of, uh, of this season. And I want to see who they have. Because if they have a decent, would no, would I? Not a chance. Come on now. Um, okay, first of all, would this hurry up? Saving takes so long in 2K. I just want to see who the Pistons have. I know. Wait, do they have drum? Yeah, surely they have drum. They have drum, right? I didn't see them in free agency. That they would have drummond. Um, they got drummond. Let's see. Who they el let's see who else they have. They have. They have Reggie Jackson, Stanley Johnson. So pretty much the same team. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. I 
Smash the like button, alright? This was a crazy free agency. Smash the like button if you guys like the free agency aspect of this, because I'm excited, alright? I'm excited to get into this. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. I really do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show on every single video. And it'd be awesome if you guys could subscribe. And in the next episode, we are testing out the new jerseys and playing our first game with the new squad. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.